well. Lord and I have been friends for a mighty long time. Bell, leaving you never ever really crossed my mind. Let me say this one thing, I never go so far. Cause you're near no matter where you are. Well, in my thoughts, you're still in my mind. Bell, laughter of the sound is quieted down. Bell, the best thing we can do is have you around. Let me say this one thing, I never go so far, cause you're near no matter where you are, you're still in my heart and you're still in my mind. There once was a woman from New Orleans who rose before the sun every morning got out of her bed and onto her knees to whisper prayers to the heavens, she said, the names of each of her children and her children's children, asking God to shelter them and a little bit of heaven to the hell of this world used to boast of a 20 grandkids and how none of them ever found a prison cell or an early grave for a home used to thank the heavens that she sent her prayers up to and revel in the wonder that God had made my grandmother was all pride and praise and proverbs, all grace and gospel and glory with a little splash of diva, top her dignity, but still down home enough to return from church service, take off that leopard print tam and that tweed blazer, hanging up next to that red siren of a hat she wore only on special Sundays, throw on an apron, and make holy sanctum of that kitchen with hands poised as if in prayer. She made righteous testimony of the stuffed bell pepper, baptized the shrimp and okra, and her roux is rich as the history that she came from, seasoned a chicken, like it was time for them things to come home to roost, prepared meals, like she did people, like she was raising up to be somebody, to have a story to tell to the taste buds so tongues could testify and revel in a wonder that Gloria Green had made my grandmother, was all Edgar Louisiana Braveheart, y'all, marching up a dust and sweat road at the tender age of 14, to plant her feet in this hair fertile soil, never knowing that from it would sprout five daughters, like southern trees that would branch out like southern trees to bear fruit that span the width of an entire planet. My grandmother was seamstress at the textile factory, but they mistook for a poor brown girl at the limits of some company's sewing machine, was in fact a weaver of miracles, threading together the fabric of her children's tomorrows. My grandmother was alchemist of the dollar out of 15 cents. It's only an eighth grade graduate in the neighborhood of nouveau black bourgeoisie could possibly know how. Was count the money slowly, huh? Yeah. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. But I wish the so and so would try to find me without giving me my retirement. Bitch, I take him and this whole corporation yeah. to call my grandmother. Was eight and a half, de time, eight and a half decades, two time hurricane survivor. Was a magnitude of make sure two mammoths for my measly metaphors. I can no more bottle your greatness in words. Come on, boy. Then I can lay hands on your spirit now, whispering in the wind these words about the sketching of the silhouette left in your absence, these words about the etching of the footprints that you left on all our souls, these words about the evidence of a thing not seen but felt. It is said that our ancestors' family, they never ever die. So long as their names live on and the memories that blossom from our tongues. Grandmother, Gloria Green, root of our family tree. Your name is Glorious Green Harvest. Your name is Righteous Blossom in the mouths of your five children, 20 grandchildren, 28 great-grandchildren. Your name is to be reborn and exalted upon all our tongues again and again and again and again, as you did us every morning in prayer before the sun rose. Woo!